Welcome everyone, I'm Kanyak Tam. Today we are going to make a very simple chicken in scallion oil. If you want to cook some Chinese food but are already tired with the everyday stir fry, this dish may be a good choice for you. To cook this dish, you'll need a whole chicken. Clean and trim your chicken carefully and remove all internal organs such as his lungs and his liver. Or else, these unwanted organs will turn your dish into a bloody hell. Then rub the chicken with a lot of salt. This step is primarily not for seasoning. It's for removing any slime on the surface of the meat. After that, rinse the salt out right away. Now here is the first chef's secret. You do not need to season the chicken at this point. This dish is a Cantonese cuisine. And Cantonese cuisine emphasizes the natural sweetness of the ingredient. And we only need the right amount of sauce to bring out the ingredient's natural flavor. If you season your meat, the saltiness will overpower the natural sweetness of the chicken. Bring a large pot of water to boil. You should have enough water to cover your entire chicken. We'll be using a Cantonese cooking technique called Zam, which basically means poaching the ingredient in hot liquid without turning on the gas. So it's basically like a Chinese sous vide process. In many restaurants, chef will put a few slices of ginger, some scallions, and a splash of Shaoxing wine into the water bath to increase the fragrance. But today we are only going to learn the basic. When the water is boiling, submerge the chicken into the water. Make sure the water gets into the cavity of the chicken. If you are able to find a Chinese chicken hook to hang your chicken, which I cannot, you can dip your chicken into the water and leave it up, and repeat the process for three times before completely submerging your meat. This can balance out the temperature inside the chicken cavity and the water bath, and to yield a better result. Then turn the heat off immediately, and let the chicken sit inside the water bath. We are going to use the residual heat to slow cook the chicken. The chicken I got is about 4 pounds, which is about 1.8 kg. I found that the chicken here in the US has abnormally huge breast, like they've been living in the gym since they were young. So the poaching time is about 40 to 45 minutes. If you've got a smaller chicken, you can adjust your poaching time, but don't go any below 35 minutes. Take your chicken out when the time is up. Let it cool down to room temperature. For a better result, you can first submerge your chicken into an ice water bath before you let it sit outside. Now it's optional, but you can drizzle a little splash of sesame oil to enhance the fragrance. But don't overuse sesame oil. It has the tendency to overpower everything. In the meantime, let's prepare the scallion oil and some scallion strips for garnish. We need some shallots and a bunch of scallions. And the exact amount is not very important. If you like stronger flavor, you can increase the amount of your ingredients. Cut a few shallots into chunks and the rest into slices. The chunks is for the oil, and the slice is for garnishing. Soak the shallot slices into water to remove their spiciness. For the scallion, we are going to use the white part and the tips for the oil. Now cut the white part out and slightly smash them with the back of your knife. This can help them release the flavor into the oil. And we are going to use the middle part of the scallions for garnishing. Cut them into strips and soak them in water. They'll curl up nicely. Turn your heat to medium high and add some oil into your pan. Remember to use oil that doesn't have any flavor such as vegetable oil, canola oil, or grapeseed oil. When the oil is hot enough, usually about 1-2 to two minutes depends on the power of your stove, reduce the fire to low and dump the scallions and shallot chunks into the pan. Let the ingredient gradually release the flavor into the oil. It usually takes 15-20 to 20 minutes. You can leave it on the stove and don't really need to care about it. You can make a larger batch of oil in advance. The scallion oil is a very good substitution for olive oil for salad dressing too. 
Now let's move to the sauce. Combine light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sugar in this ratio. And you'll get a universal sauce that can be used in many other Cantonese cuisine. Here, I add 4 tablespoons of each type of sauce and 2 tablespoons of sugar. You can also mix more in advance for other dishes. Now head back to the scallion oil. Once the scallions has wilted and most ingredients has turned golden brown, you can drain the scallion away and set the oil aside. Carve the chicken when it's cool enough. The Chinese way to carve a chicken is very similar to the Western way. You can find a lot of chicken carving tutorials by some other famous chefs on YouTube. So I'm not going to demonstrate to you how I carve a chicken. And today I'm only using the breast. Now let's do the plating. Put the chicken in the middle. Put the shallot slice and scallion stripes that you have been soaking on top of the chicken. Drizzle some soy sauce mixture and the scallion oil around the chicken. And finally, this is optional but strongly recommended. Drizzle a splash of piping hot oil onto the scallion stripe. And your dish is done! Here is a chicken with scallion oil. Try to cook this at home. Comment below and let me know what you think. If you liked the video, want to learn more about authentic Chinese recipes and techniques, like and subscribe my channel. I'll upload new videos every one to two weeks. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can watch the trailer on my YouTube page to know more about why I start this channel. See ya!